G'day everyone, this is going to be a really short video on how to determine which terminals you need to use on an older baton holder. This one here is a PDL29, now it's an older model of the new 600 range, this is a PDL629. One thing you'll notice about these older fittings is they do have a metallic interior. Anyway, if you look on the back of these older ones, You'll see that there is an L terminal, another L, and then two blank ones. As I would have explained in my electrical fittings video, the L in baton holders specifically stands for a loop terminal. And the loop terminal is the same essentially as a connector. Information aside, if none of these had labels on them due to any number of reasons and it was an older baton holder altogether, I'll show you specifically with this one how to test to find out where you need to put the wires. First of all, you will need a multimeter or clamp meter. What you want to set it on is continuity, so it's the ohm symbol with the sound bar. So as soon as you tap these together, it'll make that beep noise. Before you use your multimeter, just ensure that the beep is working on it and these cables aren't damaged because you may get some dodgy readings if the cables were damaged and you had them on the right angle. Now on the back of these, put one end into any terminal, test the others. If it doesn't beep like that, then it's not linked into them. And then holding it in that same terminal, you want to touch it on the brass pins inside these fittings. Because the terminal hasn't beeped on any of these pins, metallic parts or other terminals, it is a loop terminal and it is isolated to itself. Therefore it can be used like a connector and we can prove that with the other one as well. So we've tested these two back terminals and they are loop terminals as suggested. Now we'll try these two front ones. So I'll put one end on that terminal and we'll test these pins with the other end. So no continuity on that one. And there we go. That pin there corresponds with that terminal there. So we're going to want to put our phase or neutral cable into that terminal. Now we'll try this terminal. There we go. So we know that that's that pin. We can do the same on these newer 629s as well. So we put one end on that terminal and there we go. Same on that one. So essentially all you're doing is checking for the circuit that runs from here to here. It's as simple as that and you can do that on any baton holder light fitting. Cheers for watching guys. It is a short video, hopefully it was informative. Thanks for watching.